Chair, the Natural Resources Minister was on the program yesterday, Joe Oliver, announcing the kind of one review, one program system. This is the uh, speeding up, uh, streamlining, pick your adjective, depending on what side of the political equation. Is it fast tracking? Is it streamlining the environmental assessment process when it comes to big energy projects? Uh, supporters of it say it's really helpful uh, to because it gets rid of a kind of a bogged down system. Critics, including, by the way, the Saskatchewan Environmental Society, says it's really stripping away environmental protections and we don't have all the details but things like the Fisheries Act and it's really putting the environment throwing it under the bus for uh, uh, big energy projects. Where do you stand on this? Well we support the change. Uh, we support the federal government's making this move. Uh, we want to have rigorous environmental tests applied to, to these projects, to environmental, to, to natural resource development in our province and across the country as Canadians. But there doesn't need to be two pro, uh, processes. Uh, and I guess that's been our point. It's been the point of the Western Premiers. Uh, it's been our point in Saskatchewan. We have a rigorous uh, environmental code. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's unique in the country in that it's more prescriptive. We've moved to, I think, a very results-based system that is sensitive to water quality. We have a watershed authority in our province. We have the Ministry of the Environment engaged on that front. Uh, and uh, we will make sure that assessments are rigorous and that projects meet standards, uh, high standards, before they go ahead. But we don't think there needs to be, uh, you know, uh, two processes. Uh, but, I mean, I'll just go back to the potash. We, you know, you wanted the federal government to protect a... I mean, not the technical way, but a strategic resource, mm -hmm. potash. So the, there's federal standards to protect that. Shouldn't there be federal standards, or should there be federal standards, in terms of environmental protection? Because what happens in Saskatchewan doesn't stay in Saskatchewan. When you're developing oil sands in Alberta or Saskatchewan, it, you know, the results do not respect provincial boundaries. Should there be a national enforcement as opposed to a provincial one? But, but there, weren't a, there weren't two different uh, processes on the potash deal. There was one. It was the federal government's net benefit test. Right. We were engaged. We gave our opinion, but it could have been ignored, and we're grateful it wasn't. So I, I think we're, we're looking at uh, something similar in the environment. You know, there's many examples that we could point to of, of all, even on the fishery side where things have gotten a little bit uh, out of the realm of common sense. One particular project, uh, one mining company, well established, a good corporate citizen, was told to build a bridge over a stream bed that had been dry for years, as long as people could remember. They designed it. DFO said, actually, have to make it higher so that boats can pass under it. You know, missing the point entirely that the stream bed was dry. And so, but and is it, that and throwing it, out the baby with the water? Well, it held the river the water. The problem is, uh, there's it's more than just anecdotal. There's it, there seems to be a, a number of delays, whether it's pipelines or mining projects. You know, people in the province, we, we, in our province and right across the country, we value the ha our habitat. We value our water quality. They're going to hold the pro provincial governments accountable to rigorous environmental standards. We can do that and balance that against also being an attractive place for, for investment in natural resources without duplicative processes. But I'll tell you, you saw those 600-plus scientists writing to Stephen Harper saying, don't gut the habitat section of the Fisheries Act because who speaks for that? It's dangerous. So... You know, uh, it's tough to figure out for the public who's who, who, you know, if there's fair balance here. You know, it, we have a, we're very conservation-minded when it comes to our very robust uh, fishery that we have, our freshwater right. uh, fish. It's generally about sports, uh, sports fishing, but we have a bit of a fishery. And provinces take that, take these things very seriously. Each has an environmental ministry, and, you know, I, I think that's, uh, that's the point we made. Premier of Saskatchewan, Brad Wall. See, when, when I get you in Ottawa, we get these long conversations. Good to have you here.